Good morning, campers. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I've actually already done my PT session. I'm very proud of myself. It's still quite early. Well, it's half ten, which in my eyes is actually quite early. But I thought today what we could do is I'm just going to bring you on just a typical day with me just to show you what I'm doing, what I get up to. I've already been to the gym, but just believe me when I say that it was a hard workout. We did legs today. So I'm going to go and reward myself with a little story. I see about them there. <laughs> <laughs> like who's filming? Major decision of the day is what I'm going to order. So fun fact, I don't actually like coffee. So when we're having a coffee, I do drink tea sometimes, but only when I'm freezing or I want to dump biscuits. So I'm either going to go for a hot chocolate because it's not the warmest. Well, it's 17 degrees, but it's August, so I would expect it to be at least 20 something. So I might hot chocolate or frappuccino. See, these are the decisions of the morning. Bella's going to be fuming, fuming at me that I'm going home and she's not getting a puppuccino. Need my energy. It was leg day in the gym today, which isn't my favourite, but it has to be done. Oh, someone's got my spot. This is how often I come to Starbucks. Man, <laughs> what's oh, a bit tight? Let's go. Very tight. Oh, I feel like that's got coffee or something in it. No, no, no. So I wanted to show you a typical day in the life, like what I get up to, because I have just come back from the Amundi Evian Championship in France, which is an insane, in, uh, insane event. Is that insane? I can't say it. Um, oh my God, what's going on here? It's carnage, this wagon. Um, yeah, it was unbelievable. Like every, that's the second time that I've been and every time I come back with my mind blown, just the fifth ladies major, the event, they put on the parties, the golf course. I actually got to play in the Pro-Am this year, which I didn't get to last year because I had another event on and the golf course, it's immaculate. The greens, I think they were running at over 12 in the stint metre, which is bonkers. But you just literally, with stuff like that, you, you just tap the ball. If you've got the line, then you really feel like it's going in. So yeah, it was incredible, but now back to reality. And I'm gonna show you what I do on a normal day. Oh, someone's got my spot here too. What's going on? Oh my God, it's so good. This caffeine is not good. Right, don't forget that. We'll get the clubs out. Okay, you're not allowed to see my boot. <laughs> it's actually quite good at the moment. I usually have a full wardrobe in here and shoes for any occasion in terms of I meaning like golf shoes. I have my new golf shoes. I have my half muddy golf shoes, my slightly rainy golf shoes, and then my English winter golf shoes, which are a disgrace. <laughs> Right, so we're down here at Adlington Golf Centre. This is my second home. I coach down here as well. That's what I'm going to be doing today, but later on. So I'm going to do a little bit of practice, maybe get some content filmed, and then I'm coaching three till nine tonight. I've got a few like different lessons going on, some short games, some long game. Um, I've actually got a playing lesson today, which is for nine holes on the short academy course here because we've got two golf courses both nine holes we've got a pitch and putt style 50 to 90 yards and then a par three course and then a full short game area so for coaching it's literally perfect morning how are you I'm good thanks to you good yeah not bad good hi guys hi what's that i've already got my round here 75 balls for me, please. Okay. 
right, this is why you need another hand. Right, decisions I might go outside today. Try and top up the turn. Go no. Oh, we've got the outside rays here or the grass rain. I might go here, I don't want to get my shoes dirty. Very too well. We have got a grass range over there. I might go over there in a bit, but we'll get warmed up on on the mat just in case. I'm hitting the mat a bit heavy. Right, my legs are already um feeling a little bit wee. So I don't know why, I always have to tip the basket up like that. I don't like putting it in these tray things. Little mark. Oh, oh God. Maybe gym first wasn't a good session. A good session? It was a good session. Maybe a good idea. Right, so first of all, don't even think about what I'm doing. Just get a little bit of a warm up. Chip a few away. Oh, that was surprisingly okay. So I've got my 52 here. I've forgotten my launch monitor, so I've not used it yet. We've got a little full swing launch monitor here. Got it all charged, all ready to go. I'm super excited to try it. Ooh, do I take this off? Do I not take this off? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going for it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have this is. Oh, here we go. It's like my phone cover. I leave it on until it gets like sand. <laughs> We are loading. There we go, simple as that. It's actually even giving me the weather. Partly cloudy, but here, let's go. Put that here. Okay, so if, I'm just gonna use it for a little bit of distance control, first of all. Oh, right, we are going for the 50 yard marker. How many shots will he hit it? That's what I'm struggling with at the minute. A weird pulling one. So your numbers even come up on here. So you don't have to use the app if you don't want to. Just gives you more details on it. So what I'm working on at the moment, when I've been playing a lot, I start getting bit longer, bit disconnected, and it just throws my sort of synchronization. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Oh, 48. Can't move on from this until I get 50. Boom. Anyway. 46. Well, that was energetic. Right, let's think about this. Oh, I think that could be good. Thinking is key. <gasps> oh, no! I thought that was it then. Come at three yards though. What are we going? 52. I think that's 52. Oh, we did it! Okay, that can go back in the bag. So on the launch monitor here, it's got more than this. So it's got carry, club speed, ball speed, smash factor, face angle, face to path, attack angle. It's got everything, total, literally every number. We can see it on there and I didn't even realize that till I hit 10 shots. What I'm going to do now, I've hit like 40 balls and before I was doing this drill and I feel the need I've got to do it again. So when I was explaining about feeling a bit disconnected, sometimes I just put head cover a towel under that right arm. I'm just going to do a few little like chippy numbers just to try and get the connection between my arms and my body again. If I'm feeling happy with that, I might go to like a full swing. Well, we'll give one a go now. So as soon as I do that, it always feels like way better. I might practice with that the whole time, which 
hate doing because of fact I just want to hit full shots, but you've got to do what you've got to do. Okay, I'm going to play a bit of a game. Oh, I'm going to get it back down. We're going to finish it off. How many balls have we got? Like 10 balls. I'm going to play. Like, pick a yardage, Shani. 100 yards. Right. 100 yards carry. Where's my pitching wedge? Here it is, hiding. I always like to just finish off with a few games like this so it just ties a little bit of the feel to what I do on the golf course. It's a dear 100 yards. Oh, we're going 97. Oh, 99! So we're just heading into the studio. There's me. So this is going to be my home for the next six hours. And that is a wrap. It is just after nine o'clock. I've finished my coaching. Very productive day. Very, very good improvements of all the lessons today. We've had an array. We've done a little bit of, some people have done short game. Putting, bunkers, chipping, long game. We've had some people look specifically looking at drivers. Some just coming for a little MOT before the weekend, getting them back on track. But all in all, very good day. I've had a lovely day. And I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. And I will see you all very soon. Good night. <laughs>